And hello again, Internet. Let me just get my list here and bring up the techniques list. So I know what those do, and we are good to go. All right, we're back with Fantasy Star 2. And considering yesterday we did get another character eventually... That character should get us through the area we're in now. So now we've actually got a, quote, full party, unquote. There's more characters that can, you can get. Obviously, it wouldn't be asking us to swap our party around if there weren't more characters we could get. Alright, use the day save. Mm. Alright. Alright. So, we should be good to head back to the Biosystems Lab, finally. Explore the basement, finally, again. And actually get down and do something. Now, if you remember what happened last time, poor Amy dropped dead. Because, of course, she did. Which sucks, because she's the one who needs to survive. Well, she doesn't need to survive, but she's the one I've been trying to level. Hey, Shy. Oh, I'm sure she will again. Since, as you can see, she is clearly the lowest level one here, because I picked her up too late. Much too late. Get my drink here. Drink's already almost empty this morning. So right down here and around the corner. Hey, Sawsmith. No, the coffee's gone. I'm already on my energy drink. Miss. Stop missing. Stop missing. There you go, Amy. Well, Amy, you tried. I mean, you did some damage, and I appreciate that. I do like having the full group here now, finally. As you see, there's no more slots for the characters. So any extras I get, I'll have to start juggling party members around. At some point, will probably be Ni. I mean, she's useful for extra healing, but she's leveling up so much faster that at some point, she's going to tap out her max. Before anyone else does. Which then at that point, you could be like, well, why would you replace her? She's at max level, because then she won't be getting any more powerful, and others will. Ow. Not that she's not pretty powerful right now. She does a good job. Now that she's got the second stage of her claws... Man, these things look weird inside there. I wonder what those things even are. I don't think we've encountered that particular enemy yet. We go upstairs, come around here. We don't go downstairs there. Hit tails. Such weird creatures in these games, too. Makes me wonder if the Fantasy Star Online stuff had these unusual designs. And a lot of insects. Lots of insects. I know they had something called Rappies. That's all I know. I mean, that is one thing about this game, is it does have some of the more outlandish designs for enemies that I've seen, with this focus on giant insects. And I don't know why it's so focused on giant insects. 
Maybe the developer just had a bug problem in his home or something. And for that, I could understand. I, w I would really start hating insects like that, too. Come on, kill it! Yes! Amy! You go, girl! She even leveled off that! Also seems like Sega liked naming women Amy, which, eh, nothing wrong with that. It's a good name. At least this one's not pink and hedgehoggy. I mean, it's kind of a basic name, so there's no reason to not, you know, no reason that you can't reuse it. I am getting lost again. Wow. I still love that I still love that sound. It's such a video game sound. With the bleeps and boops. So how are you two doing today? I didn't make a mistake playing this game with how long it's been so far. Oh, I don't see that happening, Shy. The game will have to do something particularly offensive for that. And it really hasn't been offensive. It's been what the fuck? I mean, it's left me speechless at one point. But as far as actual rant-worthy, nah, not really. I, I just, I kind of know... I've played other games of this era, so... The flaws in it are less rant-worthy and more... These were the experimental missteps. Where they didn't quite understand... They've gotten better. Oh, they've gotten better. Although sometimes the improvements weren't better. I think the most annoying part of this so far is how you get the extra characters, how easy it is to miss them. I can imagine somebody doing a run with just Rolf and Knee. Like a challenge run of those two. Oh, that'd be terrible. Ow, come on. Well, I mean, he is the tank, so... He's the one supposed to be taking all the damage. I don't know that one. What kind of game is it? Turn-based RPG? Nice, nice. Oops, that's that one I wanted. Is it JRPG style or more SRPG style? Back to the first floor here, so I think... No, shit, this wasn't the way it was. It was the other way. I'm lost again. That's, it should not be a surprise. Focus on one, you idiot!
There you go. Focus on them. Kill them. Okay, so it's kind of SRPG. Gotcha. I still can't believe how long it took me to figure out that XCOM was an SRPG. I just never pictured it as that. I just always figured it was a, quote, tactics game, unquote. But, I mean, that kind of is what an SRPG is. Alright, I have no idea where I am, if I'm going the right way, if I'm not going the right way. But I'm going to keep going this way because I'm stubborn. Very stubborn. Sweet. She's the one that's good to gain levels with. Okay. Yeah, we're going the right way now. Now I know. Honestly, I've been kind of pondering trying out Pathfinder Kingmaker lately. I don't know. I haven't really found... I haven't settled on a game. Mostly because I spend most of my time playing... Um, what's it called? Demon Crawl? It's this roguelike minesweeper game that... <clears throat> has a ton of stuff to do. It's, it's pretty impressive what all it's got in it. Yay, Rolf! But the problem is, like... I am just having no luck. It's a roguelike, so of course I have no luck in it. And, oh man, I keep getting, even when I get really good combinations, the game throws something at me that just nullifies everything. Like, I had one where every time I destroy a curse item, I gain extra life, like maximum health. And then, I had an item on me already, that just straight up destroyed both cursed items and your first item in your inventory whenever you got one. So that was pretty awesome right there. So basically as many inventory items you have up to that item, eventually it will hit that item and it'll be the first one in the inventory and it will die. But still, it was taking out all kinds of things. So I was, I was gaining a bunch of life that way, and I mean a bunch of life that way. Then there was a stage where entering it would give me three cursed items... But cursed items would also get destroyed constantly. And it had another feature on it where there was three levels of this stage. So I had to enter the stage not, or three times. So nine cursed items. And they were all going to be destroyed while I played. It was like the god mode thing. I was going to have so many lives. I was going to have more lives than I had ever seen in the game. And the first cursed item I picked up said, you cannot gain lives. And it was the last one to be destroyed. Oh, that pissed me off so much. Because then in the next stage, was something that every time I lost an item, I got another cursed item. So even when I destroyed cursed items, I was getting more cursed items. And so, like, I get to the last stage. My inventory is just full of these cursed items that I can no longer get rid of. Because everything I had that was destroying them had destroyed them already. They were dead. But I had a ton of defense. And a ton of health. The problem was, the cursed items were nullifying those. I couldn't gain more health, I couldn't heal, and I couldn't use my defense. Because my defense was lowered to the minimum for the minimum damage for the stage. And of course, the things were also making the enemies do more damage. So I was doing a good job going through, going through, managing to... I had the map almost done, but then I had to get to a point where I had to guess. There was just, there were no more, and I had an item that confirmed, yes, I had to guess. There just were no more ones that you could logically deduce. 
And the first thing I guessed, enemy pops up, just BAM, one-shotted me. I was just like, ah. I can't win. I just can't win. Because it was the third time I've been to the end stage and gotten just straight up one-shotted. The previous two times were because of the boss on that end stage. Whenever he picked up an item called a Dark Heart, he would just do all the damage to you. And I mean, I'm talking, he did hundreds of damage. In a game where the max damage is usually 10 to 15, he would do 300. Now, I nullified that in this one. I put all the Dark Hearts in bubbles, so there were no more Dark Hearts. So he couldn't kill me with that. But that ultimately didn't matter. So yeah. That, that's been me lately. It's a fun game. I highly recommend it. I just have no luck. So anything involving luck, the various roguelike games, oh, they wreck me so hard. Every single time I had something really... I had another set where I had this combination of items that was just massively increasing my defense my uh, armors all every turn to the point where I was basically unstoppable I entered a stage that took all my armor off and wouldn't let me put it back on because it it gave me again cursed items right away and one of the cursed items was you can't wear armor Welp, that shut that down Uh, I swear, it's like every time I get a really good combo going, the game throws something at me that nullifies it. Yeah, Amy, go! Hell yeah! See, that's why she's attacking right now. She actually can attack effectively. Good job! Target that one. She's not going to kill it, but... All right, Rudo. What's your max now? 130. I still have six more casts after this. But yeah, just... Oh, man. I, I do recommend the game. It just was being mean to me. Amy, touch yourself. There we go. I should be getting close to the recorder here. I wonder if this game even has bosses. I haven't seen any boss fights in this. I don't even remember if the first Fantasy Star had boss fights as such. And I think it kind of counts just the difficulty of the dungeon itself as the boss. Yes! Focus on the mushroom. Good job. That'll kill it faster. Alright, Amy! She has as many tech points as she does hit points. She really is fragile. Fortunately, going through those acid puddles doesn't do that much damage. Don't hit her! Oh, for crying out loud. Well, it'll die before it does it again, so Amy, touch yourself. 
She survived at least, so she's got enough defense now for that. Nope, that's not as that's not where I'm going. Have I gone the wrong way? It looks like I went the wrong damn way. Where else is there even to go? I'm in the, like, this is it. This is the basement. That's his job. He's the tank. That's not her job. I mean, we're still doing okay. Nee can throw five healing, which we're going to by the looks of it. Ah, hell. She's gonna heal herself. And then Amy's gonna heal herself. Where am I supposed to go? It's a dead end. Up here, maybe? Oh, shit. Don't attack first, please. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Ah, that's a scary enemy. I am seeing nothing. What is going on? Where am I supposed to go? I went to the, I went all the way around to the end of the basement. There's nothing down there. Well, that's not good. I'm totally lost. I am totally lost. Like where else would it be but around there? I was hoping that would hit both of them. I was hoping it would hit both of them. Good job, Amy. I'm starting to get low on healing now. Where is the freaking goal down here? Went all the way around to the basement, and I'm not finding the item I need. Ow. Ow, you just kicked the crap out of Rudo. Alright, well, last heal from me. So I got that one before. That was what? The Trimate?
which I thought that one would for sure be the recorder I'm looking for, but nope. I can't find it. Yo, Amy, kill it! Kill it! Amy actually fully killed something on her own. Hell yeah, Amy. You are growing stronger. Okay, well, if it's not up there, is it down here? Because there is some poison down here that I never went through. Man, if it's been this close the whole time, I'm going to be kind of pissed. None of them are dead. Amy and... Ah! Amy... Amy, Rolf, and Nye need healing. Or Nay need healing. Nay, Nay. I guess. Ah! Oh, shit! Amy, you survived! And you're pissed! I should probably should use Gyrez on it. Okay, let's see what let's see what Gyrez does. To Rolf. Costs five, okay. Oh, that actually did a good job. And we are now out of healing, so. So that didn't work. That better not be it. Antidote. Okay. I think it is down here, because it looks like there's a whole whole bigger area down here that I hadn't been to before. So I was struggling going the wrong way this whole time. Of course I was going the wrong way. Why would I not go the wrong way? Ooh. Rolf, you need to stay alive, please. Oh, look at that. There's another... There's another floor. Okay, oh, wait, 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 I see something. What? Okay, I guess the decision was made for me that we're bailing out now. I mean, I was getting close to having to run anyway, so I'm not too upset, but what the hell? And back there again, except this time we have a different area to explore in the basement. What level is she now? Level 8. She's definitely getting up there.
So she's become a pretty stable party member at this point. Oh, it's these things again. I haven't seen these in a while. Are they going to wreck me? They're not dying. That's a little bit of an ouch. I think it's only one heal worth of ouch, but still. Made her use one of her healing right now. And Amy really does not have a lot of hit points. That is a worryingly small amount. Especially since she has the same amount as she does her tech points, which, like everyone else that even has tech points, they have twice as many hit points as tech points. Not her. Almost seems like her balance is off. Ah, well. She's meant to be more of a spellcaster anyway. And again, so is Rolf. Yeah, so we got only five damage from these. I'm not going to totally freak out that she's down a little bit of life. Hoping she can actually survive a little bit now. These dungeons are large and confusing. And yet still less confusing than Final Fantasy Star 1's. I mean, unless I run into illusionary walls here also. That'd be awful. Am I going the wrong way already? Probably. Probably I'm going the wrong way already. Why wouldn't I be? No, okay, I'm good. Still this encounter rate. <clears throat> we are just rolling in money. What am I supposed to do with all this money at this point? I mean, I have way more money than it costs to get gear. I might toss a heal her way that time. But I mean, look at that. Amy's even had a couple attacks now, and it hasn't really drained her hit points that much. Because they're also from lower end enemies in this area, but. Like, if she gets hit with a puke attack from these things, it'll probably hurt. Unfortunately, they did. I don't know my way around this place. I can't remember this many maps. 
This many floors? Are you kidding? I can barely remember the last floor I'm on. Let alone the ones before it. That's just crazy. Who can remember all these floors? I mean, really. Learn a new technique. All right, what'd you get? She's got more hit points now, at least. Ah, uh, SAR. Oh no, she learned how to give them SARS. Healing on all allies. Ooh. That's a useful one. That'll be useful for running through the poison. Or after an encounter with a blaster. Actually, given that she's 20 points down now, nay, you know what to do. Boom. Perfect. Yeah, she's definitely a survivable member of the team now. Level 9. She seems to be leveling fairly fast as well. I almost wish this game had more shortcut stuff in it. You know, like, oh, you've been here a few times, you open this door so that next time you come in, you can go in, you can go in deeper, more easily. But that really wasn't a thing for a long time yet. No, you were expected to dive the dungeon the entire way. Honestly, you were expected to not dive the dungeon multiple damn times. I was supposed to go through it once and that's it, but... I just don't have the info. I don't know where to go and I run out of resources and I gotta get out. So we're back to the first floor here. And I am probably going the wrong way. I'm not even sure the floor plan on this makes sense. Like, if you overlay these buildings, there's going to be gaps and crap in them. be a very unusual pathway we're taking. Nah, wrong way. I knew it. Freaking knew it. Why'd I go that way? If it was wrong... 
you may hear my allergies acting up again today. They always are acting up. And I apologize for that. Not much I can do. I take allergy pills. I've got filters for the air in here. My allergies are just that bad. Okay, what the hell? Is this like the... Oh my god, this is the wrong damn floor. This is, or, this is just the wrong place entirely. I think this is the way out, not the way in. Again. Why? Why am I so bad at navigation? Yep. Ah, that's not the right way to go. So, where am I going now? I am completely lost. No? I have to go past this. I have gotten turned around somewhere. I know I go past that chest this way. I can't go down here. Because that's cut off there. So I have to go across that. But what's across that is the teleporter for the next floor. Which tells me that I guess I was going the right way. I just missed my exit? Yeah, because you can't really go anywhere else here. Just go down to the first floor again. There's nothing up here. Good job, Amy. I was going to be proud of her when she kills something. Yeah, see, there's nowhere to go up here, so that's not the right way. So this was the right way I went. How did I get lost over here, though? <sighs> Ugh, that's not good. To be honest, looking at the price of that SAR spell, I don't think it's worth casting. Oh, I see what happened. I see what happened. I thought there was a gap there. I thought there wasn't a gap here, thanks to the the stuff on the on the second level, the layer, the foreground layer. I thought this was blocked, and it wasn't. That's what did it to me. No, it's blocked there. Never mind. <sighs> was it over here that I thought was blocked? Yeah, because the SAR here, it costs 13. But it would cost 12 to cast res on everybody. So I'm actually losing a point doing it that way, unless it does more healing than Rez does. Okay, this is the right way. I don't know. I obviously got confused and turned around, and there we are. Back to the second floor. I mean, what's my stats at right now? 
15, 30, 20. Well, I mean, let's try it. If it fully heals, then excellent. If it doesn't... Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. What am I? I'm looking for a map. I actually tried to pull up a map just now. What's wrong with me? Well, there's... Third floor! Okay. Or am I completely missing what floor I'm on now as well? Have I miscounted my floors? Have I did I go up when I thought I went down? Cause those elevators having very similar graphics for up and down are not helping. Oh, she's only died that two times, so this is Amy three, say hi. Hey Galt. No, she's she's surviving pretty well now. I mean, she's up to level 9. She's an effective member of the family. See the watch right there. Only no, only 6 damage. She's doing fine. She even kills things, too. She has finally leveled up. I haven't. I have completely freaking lost. As ever. They grow up so fast. They can when they're not dying. When she's not a floor tank. <sighs> okay. Now we're back on track. I just got turned around for a little bit back there. Nice shot. Oh, oh! Here I was going to compliment how beautifully that team killed them, but no. She had to go and miss. That's the other side I want. Yeah, that's the other side I want. Still get lost all the time, though. Still don't know where I'm going. Good lord. Okay, we should be getting close to somewhere. Alright. Ah! Well, I think I'm on floor three right now, and I just found the door I blew open. Another place that used the dynamite. So come up here, so three, two, one, basement. I was on three, okay, so this is just, this is basement one, not basement three. Ah, okay, that makes more sense to me. A lot of poison this way. Makes me think this is the right way. Jeez, look at all this poison.
poison shot? That's not the sleep shot, was it? What is poison shot here? Poison shot is used by Rudo. It is just one-handed, though. I don't know if it has any special effect or not. I didn't see that on the notes for it. So I'm just going to ignore it. Because it doesn't even do as much damage as a shotgun does. Does it? Shotgun is... Yeah, shotgun is 20. Poison shot is 15. But hey, something new at least. As you can see, Amy can do the group heal one more time. That's kind of what I'm using her for down here now. May not be entirely efficient, but I like it. Alright, well, that was the end of that, Ray. Oh, crap. Oh, good. We went first. That was scary again. Because I don't think those guys can party wipe me at this point, but they can definitely, probably drop Amy. Definitely, probably. Good job, me. They absolutely maybe are bad. And yep, well, when I get past this patch of poison, it will be time once again for Amy to heal everyone and then that's the end of hers still that's good I didn't work ow doubly ow you see why I don't like these things Look at how much damage they just did. Nia's gonna be. Oh god, it's gonna do it again. It's gonna kill Amy. Oh, okay. Ooh. Nia's gonna be using a lot of healing here. That one fight is using more healing than everything else down here so far. I hate those enemies, they're just too powerful. Yeah, those things are just massively overtuned compared to everything else. Like I said, that one fight, more healing than everything else down here so far, including the po poison floors. Actually, no. The poison floors were about that much healing. Well, rip energy drink. Come on, kill these things. Before Amy face plants, please. <sighs> there goes a bunch more healing. There goes most of my extra healing. It's over now. Oh my god, stop missing!
this fight again. Come on, kill the things! Holy crap. Come on! You're kidding! You're kidding! Fucking oh, hell. I'm still not going to be able to get the damn thing I need. Yep. I have two healing left. They're going to Rudo and Amy. Stop missing! That's not a fun fight either. Negan's a level. No, I mean, that looks like the way I'm going. Nope, not yet. Not yet. Oh, for fuck's sake. Cool, let's just hit all the poison tiles. The only place I really haven't gone is this way. And there's not going to be anything down here. WHAT AM I MISSING?! WHAT AM I FREAKING MISSING HERE?! THIS IS EVERYWHERE FOR THIS MAP! OH, FOR CRYING OUT LOUD! WHERE IS MY DAMN GOAL?! Like, this is getting seriously frustrating. I've been in this dungeon so many times now, and I just cannot find what I'm looking for. That's going to frustrate me with this game, man. I mean, I thought the beginning of this game was grindy. It's just... I can't find anything. I run out of resources, have to leave, have to come back. I'm not really getting any levels. At this point, I'm basically over-leveled for this area. I've been the other direction. There's nothing there. I've used the other elevators. All of them are either dead ends or they're placed, they're just ways back up from if you fall. This is the path to the basement, the only path to the basement. 
which is obviously where you need to go because you needed to collect another thing of dynamite in here and open the damn thing up. But I've been all over the basement now, and I can't find anything. That's not the right way. That's not the right way. What am I doing? I told you it wasn't the right way. There were basically three directions I could go in the basement. Up and around, down and right, down and left. There better not be a freaking illusionary wall in this game, I swear to god. If I have to walk through a wall in this, I'm going to be furious. Shy might get his rant after all. really weird thing is that freaking exit. It's like, oh yeah, you're back at the first floor. You can just walk out of the building. O okay. But shouldn't you get me something first? It's probably there's, it's probably some freaking background thing that doesn't look like something I can interact with. That looks like all the rest of the background. But it's something that's slightly different, and that's the important thing that I'm supposed to hit. So I have to go here. We're now on the second floor. That goes back down to the first floor. That's how you get out of these holes. And I've been down there. There's nothing down there. Just how to get out of these holes. Oh dear god, that's a shortcut. It's like, wait a minute. That teleporter over there is the shortcut. Because I used to walk all the way down and around to get to here. We're back on the first floor now. Okay, well, I got a shortcut. Yeah. Took me painfully long to figure it out, but I got a shortcut. Probably can't take that the first time. That might be where the dynamite is. Good job, Amy. Second floor again. Third floor. Amy. 
And if I'd paid more attention to where that hole was before, would have been in a better position. What am I doing? Yeah, it took me this long to figure out, wait a minute. These holes and those holes are the same holes. So what if I fall down over here? Boom, I'm on the other side without having to walk all the way around the second floor. That's not even genius, that's just mild competence. A rarity for me as well. Alright, Amy gained another level and learned a new technique. Alright, Amy. What'd you get this time? I mean, look at those stats going up. S no, you're not using sack. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Galt. I'm too dumb to compliment. Alright, so up through the door here. That we dynamited. And we go from the third floor... Second, first, basement. Okay, so we're back in the basement. Let's go down here. And back up to the first floor. Oh, don't you guys go first. Don't you guys go first. Thank you. Go down to the other floor. I just... I mean, you know, the truth is the truth. What can I say? Alright. So, this is the first floor again. I can exit here. I don't see anything here. It would help if you guys quit missing. And again, that time it didn't cancel the fight. Why not? Okay, there's, there's just nothing here. Totally normal background stuff. If I go outside here, I go outside and, end, and just end the dungeon. Ooh, Rolf needs healing. Everyone kind of needs healing. Amy's okay for now. Although I'll throw one at her anyway. I mean, like, okay, there's nothing here. So that's clearly not where I need to go. You'd think that would be it, because why else would that be there? Because we have somebody who teleports us out of the dungeon. We don't need a quick exit from the dungeon. 
So I'm going to go back up and around again. The long way. And it's not going to have anything. There's got to be some background looking element that is what I'm supposed to actually hit. Something that doesn't look like I can interact with it, but it's what I have to interact with. Because the other side didn't have anything. I don't think this has anything at all. Nothing there. So that was a... Because, yeah, this is blocked. So that was a waste. <sighs> oh, come on, Amy. Don't miss. Kill it. Okay, don't you dare attack. Dead. Dead. Those things are scary. They're scary enough that I'm just going to go ahead and have Amy plop this now. So I'm looking for anything in the background, damn it, that looks like I can use it. Oh cool, I can just avoid those puddles at least. Oh, not this fight again, I hate this fight. Well, at least you didn't kill it. Lovely. So these things are going to get another attack. Yup. Those things hurt. Again, fight wasn't cancelled. Throw more of these at me. Single one of those. I say that. He still does six to Rudo. And this is the long way around again. Ouch. I'm not seeing anything to interact with. Okay, that actually does look like it. That machine there, that has the same color as everything else in the background, looks different than everything else in the background. So this is probably where the damn recorder is. 
so it was the right way to go all the way around. I just didn't recognize it because it doesn't stand out. Why? Why are you camouflaging the key item areas? You have to make it so the player knows what they're looking for. Everything else is in a damn treasure chest. Why isn't the recorder? I swear to God, this is it. Damn it, you son of a bitch! Look at this thing! How are you supposed to know this is what you're supposed to interact with? The only reason I know that this is what I needed to interact with is because I went every fucking where else looking for any sign of anything to interact with. This looks like all of the other background elements. You have to do something to differentiate your key item areas. Fucking hell. You have to tell the player what's going on. The game never does this. It never tells you anything. I don't expect my hand to be held, but I expect to be given some indication of what I'm supposed to do. There you go, Shy. Happy now? Hi! Oops. Yeah, friggin'. Ugh. And I would have found it a while ago, because I, I was there. I was there like two times in ago. But because it didn't look like anything, I ignored it. All right. Oh no, I don't know if I can afford 60. Alright, so I got the recorder now. I have finally finished the first quest I've been given. Must get this to the governor. Splendid work, Rolf. I will immediately compare to the recorder with our library data. I have always believed that Mother Brain is absolutely right in all all the time, and that our life is protected by Mother Brain. But under the reign of Mother Brain, we have turned into weak and lethargic beings under the circumstances. We cannot help realizing that fact. The data must be ready. You'd better get going to the library. Okay. Analysis on the recorder has been completed. The cause of the accident in the biosystems lab was an overload of energy poured into the system all at once. As a result... The creature made a rapid evolution. This creature does not fit into the cycle of nature, thus should not exist. And because this kind of creature was created, the natural cycles went all out of order. Please look at this graph. It shows the amount of energy consumed in the last couple of years. Let's overlap the graph of temperature and rainfall on it. And as you can see, the energy which is being used by... Okay. By climate con clima control... So we got another building to go for, now called Climatrol, to control temperature and rainfall seems to have flowed into the biosystems lab. Biohazard could be something that was schemed up by someone. Please find why the energy leaked from Climatrol. Also, if you're going south, take the Sith with you. The bridge over the West River can be passed with this. Good luck. I've got a key. Alright, so this is a video game all about global warming. You know what? While I'm at the library... Welcome to the library. No, I haven't. I want to read. Oh, look! Climate control's been climate control's been added. 
history. Mode used to be a desert. Okay, I remember that. That wasn't the that wasn't the first game. It was a desert, yes. Green Planet. Oh god, I'm, I'm suddenly remembering the whirlpools and sandworms and crap. Climate troll, etc. Alright, biosystems lab. All DNA. A creature. It keeps saying a creature. Because there's a lot more than a creature out there. Yeah, without climate control, we get no rain because this was originally a desert. Running all four directions. Green dam, yellow dam, red dam, and god dam. Oh, blue dam, yes. A card whose color matches the color of the dam is required. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, we're going to have to go through those at some point. Red's the smallest, and then they get more complicated. Of course, they get more complicated. Mother Brain! Once fought a bounty hunter named Sam. Oh, wait, wrong Mother Brain. Palm. Moda and Dezo, huh? Okay, so Mother Brain is somewhere out there. There's a knock at the door. I am Hugh Thompson, a biologist. I value all life, including bio monsters, but we're going to kill them anyway. He values all life, including bio monsters, but he wants to come with us to kill bio monsters. Okay, um, let me just take a quick peek at the kind of stuff Hugh does. I mean, wait, he's like our super tank, isn't he? For some reason, I seem to think that he's like a tank. But isn't Rudo our tank? Do we have two tanks? We might have two tanks. Shall I swap Rudo? You know what? I'm going to try it. Let's try this guy for a while. I pressed the wrong button. I didn't even get to a new town yet. Oh, I... Game? I swear. Okay. Let's reorganize. Hugh. And Amy. So, our big heavy tank man is not here. What are you equipped with, Hugh? Scalpel, carbon suit, and shoes. Oh boy. That's not good. And let me guess, you are level one. You are level one, but you do have skills. You don't have skills. You can have skills. That's actually the right order to be in right now. Well, we go back to the town we were just at. Buy some stuff. No, no. I did. Uh -huh. It looks like there's not going to be many places. I mean... There's room for three more towns. So is there only six towns in this entire ga game? Would it surprise me if there are only six towns? Because by the sound of it, there's only going to be a couple more dungeons. 
There's going to be the Climate System, maybe one more, and then the Three Dams and Mother Brain. And while that sounds like a lot, it really isn't. Okay. So this guy's going to wear a fiber coat or vest. Um, well, he's going to have the fiber gear, obviously, because everyone can equip that except for Nene. Da -da -da, you wear the coat. And you could do a shield, but let's check your weapons before we do the shield. So, we'll get a fiber gear for Hugh. Fiber coat for Hugh. Let's see what kind of weapons you can equip. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Alright. Okay, ceramic knife. Can he use a ceramic knife or is he just shotgunner? Ceramic he can use ceramic knife. Everyone can use ceramic knives. Yay! I mean I think he can use the shotgun too. No, he can't. Alright, he is a ceramic knife man, like everyone else. Equip. Fiber gear. Fiber coat. Ceramic knife in your right hand. Ceramic knife in your left hand. And I mean, yes, he could have put a shield on. Ceramic knife. You, let's get rid of your garbage. Who needs a scalpel? Nobody uses a scalpel. Carbon suit. I kind of like how all the characters are color-coded as well. We've got blue, purple, black, who's not with us right now, green, and yellow. What are the other guys are going to be? You know, I actually probably should leave Amy behind. Well, she needs levels. So, so I could probably leave her behind, except when I'm dungeon diving. If I'm just traveling... But then again, most of the game is going to be dungeon diving, so... Yeah. Wait, Amy, why are you back to defense? Amy, you're an attacker now. You attack now, Amy. Strategy. Order. Amy, attack. Fight. I mean, see, she doesn't do much, but she does enough. She killed that thing with her ceramic knives. Okay, well, there's the yellow dam. So they actually are color-coded. Item. Key tube! So, should it have been tube key, maybe? Or is it a key that's shaped like a tube? You insert straw! Okay. Why are the overworld enemies still crap? Okay. Q gained a level. Q, what have you got now? Rimmit. Okay, he has rim job. What does rim job do? Do 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 do, do. rim it. Paralysis on one bio monster. Cool, something he's never gonna use. 
I see a town over there. Is that the one I came through? I can't, I don't know if this is the one I came through or not. No, it's not the one I came through. A town! I found a town! Where am I? Zima! The mobile machines. Ah, it must be the uh, vehicles from the previous game. Jet scooter when we were young. What? What the? Why is there a person talking to me? Nobody in town talks to me. I'm the smelly hobo. Because of the garbage smell from Roron. Oop! Ah! Mm, left accidentally. Get back in there. No, go back in. I wanna. I wanna buy things. Okay, there's the save. What the? Why are you talking to me? What? Wow, these are really useful NPCs in this town. Really useful. Really useful. Most important town in the game, clearly. Move! Out of out of the way! Get! Mm, I, mm. Come on, game. Have enough room for us to walk around these idiots blocking the stores. Welcome to my shop. Okay, we got new stuff! We got new stuff. We got Titan gear. Which is... There we go. Titan gear can be worn by... Almost everybody. Except for Nay again. However, the Titan Met is a Titan Helmet. Which can be worn by... Rolf. So he gets that. Everyone else gets the gear. Now, how about the boots? Who is not wearing boots that can? Boots are worn by... Everybody but me. And they are better than shoes. So anyone who's got shoes on needs to upgrade to boots. The other two are shields, which... Right now... So, Rolf gets this. Yes. Titan gear goes to... Hugh? Titan gear goes to... Amy? And I gotta see who's wearing shoes. Rolf needs boots. Hugh needs boots. Amy needs boots. Everyone needs boots. Boots. Rolf. Boots. Hugh. Boots. And pants and boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants. Equip Rolf. Boots. Hugh. Boots. Amy. Boots. How about weapons? What do we got for weapons? Whip it good. Oh, ceramic sword, slasher, laser knife. We got all kinds of stuff. Okay, let's see. Whip. 
can't use a whip. Ceramic sword. How much is that? Ooh, ho, ho, ho. that does 60. And who can use it? Just Rawful. He's getting the ceramic sword, obviously. Slasher. The slasher hits a group. Like, it, it hits the entire group. It only does 17 damage, though. Laser knife, 28, 5. Cannon. And almost everyone can use the laser knife. Cannon is used by our dude who's not with us anymore. And it only hits one dude anyway, so on that. And then poison shot, I've already got a poison shot. Although Hugh can use poison shot. Wait, what? Wait, what? Hugh uses poison shot. I'd rather have him use the knives. I would genuinely rather have him use the knives because they have defense. I mean, he'll get 10 defense putting two laser knives on. Which right now he's got... Six defense from the ceramic knives. It will be expensive getting that many laser knives. Wait, how much does the sword do? 60 versus 28.5? Shit. See, now we're back to that question of do I want two knives or do I want the sword? I mean, the slasher just isn't worth it. It's actually weaker than my current stuff. I mean, it does 60, though. But, I mean, it does 60, but on the other hand, like... The others do 28. I would get two attacks, and I'd almost rather have two attacks. Okay, which one of you is going to lug it? Hugh. Well, why did I give it to Hugh? Well, you know what? Whatever. Amy. Amy. Hugh. I guess we're doing ceramic sword for now. Just because. Oh, you know what? Let's let's sell some stuff. Moda people love the garbage dump. What the? What the? What the? Around the middle of the lake, there's a tower where no one has ever been. Okay, that's mother brain. Except that... Dude, I live in the middle of the lake. Is that where my main town is? And the tower there? Okay, this is... Where's my shop? Where's... There's my sell you shop. Let's equip these guys. One laser knife. Two laser knives. And I just bought ceramic knives for them too. I am aware. Sell. Rolf's shoes. Sell. Rolf's fiber gear. Sell. Rolf. Poison shot. Sell. Hughes shoes. Sell. Lots of things to sell. Sell fiber gear. The ceramic knives will give me enough to buy Rolf's laser knives. See, I've got enough now to sell to buy them. So, I I mean. There, there's my money gone.
laser knife. Rolf, yes, laser knife. Rolf, yes. Oh no, no. Equip Rolf. Right. Right. I moved the thing and it wouldn't do it. Whatever, they're equipped. Um, that's everything for this town. So I'm gonna have to go south to that dump, I guess. I do like the fact that the slasher hits the group, but I want something that hits everything. Is there a weapon that hits everything? No, there isn't. Just ones that hit groups. And of course they're weak because they hit groups. There's the tower in the middle of the lake. Okay. That's what it was talking about. So is she the weak one now? Eh, not really. Ow! Freaking ouch, stuff in here hurts. Well, it was that group again, which I don't like this group. And he got a new technique. What did he learn? Doran and Jen. Doran. Half physical accuracy on one bio monster. Jen. Jen. Hello, where are you, Jen? I see Zen? Or Zan, that's not Zan, that's Jen. There's Jen! Damage to one bio monster. He's better off using his attacks now. Okay, so eight well no, nope, you're still healing. Although Amy, go ahead and hit that. Uh, Nay needs to be healed one more time. Alright, Nay, heal up one more time. Ooh, mountains. First time we've seen those! And it's these things again. You know, not having Rolf or uh, Rudo here kind of hurts. Because even though these guys have new equipment... They're still not very good. I mean, after all, Hugh is brand new level, so he's not particularly competent at the moment. Oh, that's the second version of one of these. It's not a Hightail anymore, it's a Center. I know what time it is. It's getting close to the end. I just want to get to at least... I want to see what a new area is. Because I thought there was another town over here. 
and I could be going the wrong way for it. But I figure if I can get to another town, then all my money will be already gone. But I can also teleport around, so... Yeah, didn't do much to her. Yes, more levels. MORE LEVELS! I, again, have no idea where I am. I probably should be using shields and such, but I'd rather just kill the things faster. There's a new town, which I didn't quite get a chance to get into. Yeah, I want to check this town out. Then maybe go back to the original town and see if anyone else wants to join the party that I can't level up right now because I'm limited to how many party members I can have at a time. And I mean, I could ditch Amy and have Rudo come running around healing, leveling someone with him. Welcome to Curie. Have you met our friend Roron? Oh god used to work in the ocean. Did they now? Friends in Roran. Okay. Oh, someone on the outskirts of town, so no one disturbs his work. The many stories of the ocean. That's why this town smells like dead fish. Let's see what this place has. Oh, yeah, I was afraid of that. Oh, knife boots, even. Knife boots are interesting. I believe Nee can wear those? She... Supposedly can? They actually increase her attack, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy those. It's the only thing I'm gonna be able to afford. But the Titan, 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 you got armor, cape, and chest. You got three things there. Knife boots. Equip. Knife boots. Oh, yeah. See, now, again, the armor, the cape, the chest, those will be nice. Who else? There's, like, one other person I think that can wear the knife boots. It is... Someone I don't have, so... I went back in there to try to sell. I can't sell in there. I can sell down there. Oh no, humans! Goodbye, sandals. Now, I wonder though if she gets a third attack or if it just increases her other attacks. Where's the outskirts of town? Different colored water, huh? Alright, let's talk to this dude. Oh no, humans! I'm working on inventing a new kind of gum! Do you know what mirror leaves are? Nope. Produce a large amount of oxygen. Okay, we get oxy gum. Okay, so this is this version, this game's version of the air bottle from Final Fantasy. Good to know, though. So we're gonna have to go underwater at some point. I'm gonna check what's in the weapon shop when I find it, and then we're out. Pretty much. Oh, I, I, I already sold that. Okay. I remember there was a rocky island named Uzo in the ocean. Really? Mother Brain prohibited it. Must be something under there. Oh no! Wow. 
weapons. What do we got here? Laser bar. That's handy. Boomerang. Laser slasher. Boomerang is worthless. Laser slasher, though. 30 damage into a group, but I uh, can't equip it. Oh, that tells me that there's certain someone's going to be here soon. Acid shot. Again, why would I use that instead of the instead of the knife, which gives me defense? Does it do more damage? Laser shot. Laser shot. No, laser shot's two-handed, so it wouldn't be any good either. Wait, do those do those hit a group? Do those hit a group? Weapons. Did I like screw up and not put these things in a group? No. They target single enemies. Why the fuck would I want that? Oh, those are the ones. Okay. There's something else that hits a group for him later on. He doesn't get access to him yet. But, like, the laser shot is a single shotgun. It only hits one thing. And it's not even that powerful. Probably stick with a shotgun just to hit two things. But I see the laser bars down there, so she would get stronger with those. But I can't equip them yet. So there, I have things I need to buy. So here I was worried about how much money I was getting, and it is gone. And it's gone. So, all right, well. I'm going to heal up. We're going to save. That'll be it for the day. We found two new towns, which means I got to go back and look and see if I've got a new character waiting for me, which would suck at this point because I'm just leveling some new one up. But things have opened up finally. We got two towns in a row. We finally figured out the new the way out of that other dungeon. Finished the first quest. Now we just look for climate control. Climate troll. And I hope to God whatever I f have to find in there doesn't look like part of the damn background again. All you have to do is make it a different color. Make it... Gr oh, maybe the floor was gray. Make it something that stood out. But they made it look like everything else in the background, so I missed it. And this game, so I missed it, is really common, and I don't like that. At any rate, tune in tomorrow while we will continue the game. Until then, take care, Internet, and enjoy the games you play.